Okay, now for question number six from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P4 International A-Level at Excel um, examination. And this question here is um, about proof by contradiction, which is one of the newer topics in um, the you know new syllabus of P4 as compared to the old C4. So it says three consecutive terms in a sequence of real numbers are given by K and 1 plus 2K and 3 plus 3K. So the three terms which are after each other in a sequence of numbers. All right, K is a constant. We have to use proof by contradiction to show that this sequence is not a geometric sequence. All right, so when you're doing proof by contradiction, you have to start off by assuming the opposite, basically. So you want to assume that it is a geometric se sequence. So you start off by saying, let's assume okay that the terms are in geometric sequence okay so that's the first thing you have to assume they are in geometric sequence okay now if they are in geometric sequence then we can say that the common ratio then they have a common ratio then they have a common ratio. A geometric sequence has a common ratio. So this is something coming back from P2. All right, so sometimes there's things from earlier units which come back in later units which you have to know. All right, so this means if they're in geometric sequence, there is a common ratio be between them. So if I divide um, one term by the one before it, it will give me the same ratio as that term divided by the one before it too consecutive terms divided give you the same ratio. So if I say if the, if the common ratio will therefore be 3 plus 3k divided by 1 plus 2k and that ratio should be the same as if I take 1 plus 2k and divide that by k. So this gives me an equation. Now we have to try to solve this equation. Now if this equation is not able to be solved that means we have a contradiction which means they can't be in geometric sequence because if they are in geometric sequence then there's definitely a solution or solutions to this equation. So now let's just solve this equation. Let's multiply both sides by k and by 1 plus 2k cross multiply you could say. So you have k times 3 plus 3k is equal to 1 plus 2k times 1 plus 2k which is 1 plus 2k squared. This is going to give me 3k plus 3k squared equals and this is going to give me 1 plus we multiply these together and then double them that's going to give me 4k plus 2k all squared which is 4k squared so i have a quadratic equation which i'm going to try to solve so i'll bring everything onto one side with we'll keep the k squareds positive so i'll have 4k squared minus 3k squared which is k squared 4k minus 3k which is minus uh, which is plus k sorry and i'll have um, plus one so I end up with k squared plus k plus 1 equals 0. Now, we have to see if this has any solutions. Okay, so let's find the discriminant. Let's use b squared minus 4ac and see what we get. So here a is the coefficient of k squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of k, which is also 1. And c is the coefficient or the constant, which is also 1. So we're going to have b squared, which is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1. And that's equal to negative 3. So we can say b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Therefore, there's no solution. Okay, if there's no solution to this equation, that means this is a contradiction. Okay, you can say contradiction. That's a contradiction because there, mu there must be a solution to those, that equation. If they are in geometric series, there will be a value of k which causes them okay to be in in a geometric series to have a common ratio as there's no solution to this that means there's no value of k which causes this to be true therefore okay so you can you can even write that if you want although it's a bit much to write for just a short question with so much so few marks but just um okay there are no k values which cause a common ratio 
which there is a common ratio, you could say. Okay, so that's a contradiction. Therefore, the sequence, the sequence, try and be as neat as I can. I'm, my handwriting isn't that good. The sequence, okay, is not a geometric sequence. Okay, a geometric sequence. Okay, so that's what we can conclude. We should write that conclusion. Okay, there are no k values which cause a common ratio. Therefore, the sequence is not a geometric sequence. There's a contradiction there. So that's how you answer such a question. Use by use proof by contradiction to show this is not a geometric <coughs> sequence. Good. So first you assume the opposite. Then you use use you know you assume that it is in geometric sequence. Okay, and then you use um, you know what that implies that the, there's a common ratio and you find that trying to um, you know solve the equation formed when you have assumed that there is a common ratio leads to no solution that means they don't have a common ratio that means they're not in geometric sequence okay so that's how we can prove by contradiction okay so i hope that is clear so that's the end of question number six other questions from this paper january 2022 p4 can be found in the link in this area here other questions from this topic of sequences can be found in the video in this link over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle thank you for watching and see you soon